you can feel the tension in the air as we move into race day here in Monaco. It's a track that requires the full concentration of the drivers with zero margin for error. It tests their skills to the absolute limits, so no wonder it remains a fan favourite. The prestigious Circuit de Monaco, then, is not all that dissimilar today to the layout that made its debut almost a century ago. It's two miles and 19 corners through the streets of Monte Carlo. And although the average lap speed of around 93 miles per hour is the lowest of the season, the tiny margins for error make it the natural habitat of the safety car. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. It's Sergio Perez on pole today and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Stroll, Russell, Hamilton, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Gasly, Sargent, Sonoda, Albon, Ricardo, Ocon, Magnussen, and Joe Guan Yu. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And alongside me in the commentary box, my old friend, Anthony Davidson. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season and the more systematic you can be, the easier you are within that environment. With this being a high downfall circuit, we're not going to have quite the same top speed we have at other tracks. The good news is, though, it's going to make our DRS even more effective than normal. So try to make the most of it during the race and quality if you can.
Right, we need to get past here. Use overtake, use overtake. Condition still looking good. seconds. Checkered flag. Oh, here's the checkered flag, and here's our race winner today. What a smooth operation it was for Carlos Sainz. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there.